Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I miss you guys so much. I had stuff going on behind the scenes, so I was not able to record any new videos for you guys. Hopefully I can be more consistent throughout the rest of this month. But today we're going to be looking at what you're currently not aware of. Uh, for the rest of May, any information that you need to book a personal reading with me will be listed in the description if you want one. So just check there. And also make sure you guys subscribe, thumbs up the video if you enjoy. And let's flip the camera and see what the cards have to say. Make sure you guys also follow me on Instagram if you're into pick a card readings, uh, but more so like posts and whatnot. But let's go ahead and flip the camera to get into the cards. Enjoy. All right, Aquarius, let's jump into your reading. So what are my Aquarius not currently aware of going into the end of May 2022? What are my Aquarius currently not aware of? So we have back and forth and transformation. So Spirit sees that you guys have been definitely struggling with not being able to make up your mind in certain ways or literally you struggling with going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with a particular love interest, okay? Spirit is singing this is stopping your progress and some of you may not even be aware of it i mean you may be aware of it but you may not even be able to see to what extent it's really stopping you and i think that this picture is a best the best illustration of what's literally happening so some of you guys who keep going through these like breakup to makeup situations frequently or like this on off communication or this weird dynamic that you have with someone and constantly being in a space of, oh, I don't like this, so I want to leave, but then I don't really want to leave because I want this, this, and this to happen. The, all this is doing is creating a dynamic in which you just are not moving anywhere. Okay? Some of you have been in debate of whether or not you should leave the situation alone for some years. And before you know it, you've been in this situation for five years now, still wondering if you should leave it like you were wondering three years ago. So at some point, something has to give. Something has to be like, you know what? Well, I am kind of sick and tired of being in this stagnant position of saying I'm gonna leave the situation, um, then going back. It's almost like picking a scab as soon as it starts to heal and then it starts to bleed and do whatever and then it starts to heal again and then you pick it again. It's like you're never fully completing that healing journey. And every time you go back, you, you basically disappoint yourself. Also, beyond that, some of you guys have been going back and forth on the decision. And again, that's why you haven't seen any progress, really. It's because you're constantly in this debate stage of whether or not something's a good idea that you're letting the years go by, the months go by. Time is flying. Time waits for no man. All right, so Spirit is saying... It's time to get going. Another thing I'm hearing, I think this was a quote too. I think it was actually from this deck, but instead of trying harder, try differently. Some of you guys really feel like you're, you're giving it all you got with a business, with a relationship, okay, what have you. But maybe what needs to happen is maybe you need to try differently. Maybe you need to try in a different way to get different results. OK, trying the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results is literally insanity. So switch things up, change things up. I also have victim mentality and discovery. So spirit is saying also there's no more need for you to feel sorry for yourself. And you may not necessarily feel like you're feeling sorry for yourself. You could be just in this energy of, you know, constantly acknowledging the fact that you've gone through certain hardships. But when you keep telling the same story of that's going to be my future or am I ever going to, you know, get happiness, love. If you start to ask those questions you slipped into a victim mentality. Because in order for you to even ask those questions, you have to believe that you're not worthy of those things. And that because you've experienced certain things in your past, that that's going to ultimately be your future. 
Let's keep going. Aquarius. Six of Swords, the High Priestess, Ten of Cups in Reverse, the Empress in Reverse, and the Nine of Cups. So, yeah. So, getting into these cards, um, another thing you may not be aware of. Spirit is really trying to push you into making certain moves, like literal moving, like relocation for some of you, because in relocating, this may give you that fresh start that you need, especially if there's a lot of things that have been keeping you stuck where you live now that are not good for you. You moving is going to be like wiping the clean slate or creating a clean slate, excuse me. Also, moving may actually open more opportunities up for you in terms of career. Speaking of moving, some of you guys who have been like contemplating on whether or not to move in with a partner here, it may not be advised right now. I think that you need to give this person some more time to know what they want because it seems like this person's unsure or if not unsure they're they're not in a position to where they're happy with their financial situation and if you were to move in with this person and them not being happy i don't know if that would be a um, a good living situation another thing you may not be aware of some of you guys have like um a mother figure who could be really pissed at you. This could be literally your mother. Oh, I'm getting so many messages. Yeah, some of you guys, what you may not be aware of, even though your person or your person, your mother or like someone who's like a mother figure to you may be at odds with you. They really do care about you. They just feel like in some ways that they weren't the best mother or they could have uh, shown up for you more in some ways and they could be letting the guilt kind of eat them up. So it could seem like they're, you know, disconnected from you. But I think that this person is really suffering with a lot of guilt, especially, like I said, for my people who don't have the best relationship with a mother figure. What you not you what you also may not be aware of, some of you guys who are dating somebody who has kids, the mother of those kids or the other parental, I should say, could be really pissed <laughs> that you and the person that they have children with that you're dating um, are like together. They could be doing things to kind of like sabotage the relationship in some ways, like denying your person the opportunity to see their kids or you know basically making the family dynamic very uncomfortable so if you notice that they start to act weird towards you it could be because they're trying to preserve their family because they have some weird stuff going on with the person they may have kids with which is interesting okay give me one final card for the final message for aquarius and it says confidence can be learned, practiced, and mastered. So yeah, if you're not confident in your creative endeavors, if you're not confident, period, understand that that could always be reshaped just by you taking action and you by do, and by you doing the things that take you out of your comfort zone. All right, confidence is not something that we're all just born with. That's something that you you gain in, in knowing yourself. So this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful in some capacity. If it was, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you a little bit later, Aquarius.